The meaning of whistleblowing depends on who you talk to. Richard Moberly is a law professor at UNL who studies the legal definition of the term whistleblower. To be a whistleblower, you have to report uh, something very specific, to often to a very specific person, to a supervisor in the employment setting, or to a committee, or to law enforcement, or to Congress. But what about in the case of Edward Snowden, a 29-year-old NSA contractor who earlier this month revealed top-secret information about government data to the public? Just to understand, there's a distinction here between uh, people in the national security industry or intelligence community and every other government employee, and then also with private employees in the private sector. The danger is for people in the intelligence community, employees who are subject to confidentiality agreements and subject to the laws relating to classified information. Although Edward Snowden might not fit the legal definition of a whistleblower, some students feel what he did was right. I think American citizens should be informed about what what the government is doing with their data, their, their calls, their texts to each other, and that should be private data not accessible by the government. The government should hold public forums about things like this that they're doing and it should not just be secret committees deciding all these things for Americans. It should be Americans being aware of what's happening to them. So is Edward Snowden a hero or a traitor? It's a polarizing question that can only be answered in time. For Star City News, I'm Brian Fry.